prison after serving 15 years of his sentence. His name is Harry Crowell, but he chooses to call himself 39013, his old prison number. The man is insane. There's no telling what he will do next. Which is no excuse for your repeated failures to capture this man. Everything is being done, Commissioner. The man is just not to be found. But he's got to be found. Every few days, another Granville interest destroyed. I want this man captured. If you have to tear down the city brick by brick. You're rapidly evening up the score against the man who sent you to prison, 39013. Five of the nine major Granville enterprises have been wiped out so far. The score is a long way from being evened yet. Doctor, when I get through with Horace Granville, he'll be entirely ruined. Read me the list of the Granville properties remaining. There's the Granville Amusement Center. It represents quite a lot of money. Amusement Center, eh? That's it. It'll be next. The Granville Amusement Company. Hurry, 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 friends. It's the big attraction, and it's absolutely free. See the daredevils and their triple death-defying, hair-raising, world-famous stunt. Introducing the three daredevils of the Red Circle. Number one is Carnet Orson, ladies and gentlemen. By himself, my friends, and without assistance, he will support that 80-foot ladder during the death-defying routines of his brother, Daredevil. And number two, ladies and gentlemen, is Gene Townley, world champion, professional high diver, and all-around athlete. Thank you. Gene carries a flare. Now that flare will be lighted when he reaches the top of that ladder. And third, but not least, ladies and gentlemen, that famous escape artist, Bert Knoll. Strapped in a standard approved straitjacket and with his feet chained together, this young lad will be hoisted head downwards to the top, the very top, ladies and gentlemen, of that 80-foot ladder. The second that he starts up, ladies and gentlemen, that flare will be lighted at the top of the ladder. The flare burns for exactly two minutes. There he goes. your hat. Here I go. Dollar says you don't make the tank. If I don't, you're going to look awfully funny back behind that soda fountain. Yeah? starts at 8.30. Allow 12 minutes before the flare is thrown into the diving tank. Yeah, the flare is always burning when it hits a tank. Get aboard the fuel boat at the harbor. My men on the pier will signal you when it's safe to approach. Now, I want that diving tank emptied and refilled before the second show. Okay, it's empty. Close the valve. I'll go and signal the boat. Pull in under the pier and we'll pump this stuff up into the diving tank. Watch this. Curve your back a little more. Like this. You see, it's balanced first. And strength afterwards. How's that? Oh, kind of help, kind of help. I'll show you a lot of things, Sammy. You don't want to end up just another high diver like um, your brother. That's all right, but there's more to life than picking locks and getting out of straitjackets. 
Unless, of course, you want to land in a bug house at an early age. Don't forget, Sammy, it's brains that count. What do you want to be when you grow up, Sammy? Well, first I want to be as strong as you, Tiny. And then I want to be as fast as Bert. And then I want to have a lot of brains, like Gene. Atta boy, Sammy, have the right idea. And now, little brother, soap and water, and plenty behind the ears. Catch? Me catch. Yes, I'm ready. Get to the police station. Chief Landon. This is 39013. Place this call. I'm destroying the Granville Amusement Center tonight. You've got exactly 10 minutes. Hello. Hello. Broadcasting station. Calling all cars. Calling all cars in the neighborhood of Granville Pier. We can't get down the ladder. I sympathize with you for your loss and understand your motives in wishing to work for Mr. Granville. But unfortunately, we're not hiring any new men. Even if we were, they'd have to be experienced in detective work. But we can do a lot of things. Yeah. All we want is a chance to get on the trail of 39013. I'm sorry, boys. But this present case is more of an intellectual job than a physical one. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm very busy. This way out, boys. That's all very well, Mr. Dixon. We still like to see Mr. Granville. Hey, you mugs. You're wasting Mr. Dixon's valuable time. Come on, Tommy.
Why, it's the Daredevils. They saved my life at the pier. How's the youngster? Sammy's not with us. He... Oh, I'm so sorry. If there's anything I could do... Thank you, just the same, miss. We had planned on seeing Mr. Granville, but apparently he's a very difficult man to get to. Then there is something I can do. You shall see him at once. You mean you can arrange it? Certainly I can. I'm his granddaughter. Come on. This is as far as we go. Grandfather's doctor and private nurse, and sometimes Mr. Stanley, his secretary, are the only ones who ever go beyond that glass door. Well, why is that? Uh, hello, Jeff. Let me speak to Grandfather. Jeff's the nurse. You see, Grandfather had a mysterious stroke while on a trip. It's better now, but until he's completely recovered, he keeps everything sterilized and never leaves this part of the house. Well, how's he manage his affairs? You'll see. Hello, Gramps. I've got to see you a moment. It's terribly important. All right. I'll be right out. Blanche, who are these men? I told you about them, Gramps. These are the men who saved my life at the pier. Oh, yes, yes. And for that, they have earned an old man's gratitude. My granddaughter is very precious to me. And for saving her life, you only have to name your own reward. Uh, we didn't come here to get a reward, sir. Uh, we didn't come here to get a reward, sir. Because of 39013, my little brother lost his life. We've sworn to do everything we can to find him. We thought that by coming here and cooperating with you, success would come a lot sooner. Your wish is most certainly granted. Yes? Say, I'm putting three new men on. They'll report to you right away. See that they're given comfortable quarters so that they may work from here as a base. But we... Now, if that meets with your satisfaction, you can go and see Mr. Dixon at once, and he'll take care of everything. Thank you, sir. And thank you, Miss Granville. It's little enough. Thanks, Gramps. Blanche, dear. You remain. I want to talk to you. I'll see you later. Morning, Doctor. Morning, Miss Granville. How's the patient? Can't complain, Doctor. There's considerable excitement going round over 39013's threat to destroy the Channel Tunnel. This paper says that public fear will ruin your venture, even if 39013 fails. Well, this is one time that fiend will fail. There's nothing he can do to harm the tunnel. Every precaution has been taken. But the public doesn't realize that. Well, something must be done to inspire public confidence. Otherwise, the tunnel will not open. Blanche, dear. Yes, Grandfather. Would it be asking you too much to be the first to ride through the tunnel? Of course, if you're afraid, I... Oh, I'm not afraid, Gramps. I'll be there. Oh, that's the spirit, Blanche. I knew you would. I'm ready for my treatment, Doctor. Dr. Malcolm? Yes? May I speak to you a moment, please? Well, 39013, you've got your wish. The hateful granddaughter will attend the opening of the famous Channel Tunnel. Tell Dr. Malcolm to meet me here. matter for you, my friend. Come here. I hope you're satisfied, Crowell. I'm going mad. Mad? You're going mad. You wait till you had 15 long years of it. One of these days, Crowell, you'll make a slip during your fiendishly clever impersonation of me. Without thinking, you'll speak in your own natural voice and be discovered. You'll build no hopes on that score. 
When I wear this mask, I am yourself. I make a point never to speak in my own natural voice until this wig and mask are off. This sells a duplicate of the one you sent me to. How'd you like it? You never thought of me, did you? Well, I thought of you plenty, waiting for the day when my chance would come. Well, it came. I escaped from prison. You took that trip. It was almost too easy. The papers played up the gag that you'd had a stroke. But I was the sick man they brought back to this house. Your very own home. Why, even your granddaughter failed to see the change. How you can be so cruel and yet live is beyond me. You would best pray that I continue to live, Granville. If anything happened to me, so that I fail to come down here and refill this reservoir, the water would drip entirely away. And when the reservoir became lighter, and these lethal gas capsules would break upon the floor, the gas would kill you in a very short time, Mr. Granville. So you see, your life depends on nothing happening to me. I'll get it. Hello? I'm sending you with Sheffield down to the Channel Tunnel tonight. I want you to keep your eyes open and patrol it thoroughly from now until the ceremony takes place tomorrow. Meet Sheffield at the garage in five minutes. Okay, we'll get right down there. Get ready. We're leaving for the tunnel. make of it? Some kind of a warning, but what's this red circle stand for? The red circle's our own symbol. That's right. Whoever wrote it must be looking out for us. We'll get down to the garage and meet Sheffield. Stay here, Tuppy. to bring you a word picture of the opening of the six million dollar channel tunnel connecting sunny Santa Elisa Island to the mainland. The air is tense with excitement, ladies and gentlemen, as the tunnel is being opened in direct defiance of threats that it will be destroyed. Crowds of people are being kept back as a safeguard against any eventuality. The public knows that the elusive malevolent 39013 has never yet failed to carry out a threat. But in contrast to the ominous circumstances surrounding this event, it's a beautiful day going to try to give you a picture of the setting. From the promenade adjoining the tunnel's main entrance, I can see across the channel to Santa Alicia Island. Seems an incredible distance for men to tunnel, following a curving straight up rock below the ocean's bottom. Off to the left is the Granville oil well, actually standing out in the water, pumping oil up from underneath the sea. I see Chief of Police Landon, ladies and gentlemen. I'll try to get him to answer a few questions for us. Pardon me, Chief Landon, but do you believe this 39013 has any chance of carrying out his threat to destroy the tunnel? I think it is the idle boast of a madman. Thank you very much, Chief Landon. Chief Landon's right. Your threat to destroy my tunnel is the idle boast of a madman. There's no way you can do it. You're drilling an oil well off the coast, very near to where the tunnel runs beneath the passage. Yeah, it was through that well that the rock strata was discovered that made the Channel Tunnel possible. Mm -hmm. I'll take a look at this. My men in control of well number one has been drilling an offset for the past three weeks.
Miss Blanche Granville has just arrived, ladies and gentlemen, with a full police escort. Blanche! What, you sent her there? Why, you... My little surprise. She went gladly on your behalf. until they start into the tunnel. Okay, shut her off. What's the matter? I just heard a strange noise. It seemed to come from overhead. Something suspicious? I don't know. It stopped suddenly. Well, I guess it couldn't have mounted to much. I'm rounding up all the men. You better get out of here now. The ceremony's due to start. Yes, sir. Phone if I were you. You're not me. Hello, hello. This phone is dead. Well, wait a minute. What's your hurry? Look, I was supposed to take orders from you, but from now on, I'm doing my own thinking. There's something wrong back in that tunnel, and I'm going to find out what it is. Call the guards! This man is going to try and wreck the tunnel! Hey, what's the idea? Perfect. 